Just wanted to show you a few of the decorations on our house. Everybody needs a Christmas wheel in their house, right? I mean, it's almost biblical. Let's go back inside. It's cold out here. Well, this has been a wild year, and before it ends, I wanted to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. And I think the message of Christmas is especially appropriate this year. Coronavirus has tested us severely this year. The loss and disruption that this virus has caused cannot be overstated. It's absolutely staggering. And then the threat that one individual can inflict upon our democratic institutions, national identity, moral sense is absolutely frightening. And then on a personal level, this year has been very challenging to me with the heart issues I went through in the first half of this year and that I'm still recovering from. I really can't wait for this year to be done and a new one to start. But at the same time, starting this YouTube channel way back in March when coronavirus first broke out has been an incredible blessing in my life and I have learned so much through it. And I wanted to thank everyone who's been watching this, these videos. The number of people watching the videos and the comments that you leave underneath the videos have been so encouraging to me. I got an email this past week from YouTube and it gives you kind of your stats for the past nine months. And since I started this channel, people have watched over 55,000 minutes of content on this channel. That's over a thousand hours of time that people have invested watching the videos I've been putting on YouTube. And we've got 300 people subscribed to the channel now. That is so amazing to me. At the same time, I look at these channels that have over a million subscribers and I realize I'm just scratching the surface of this thing. It really gives me a small picture of the potential of posting videos and lectures on YouTube can have around the world. It is such a blessing to each week prepare videos on various biblical passages or content. It's also touched me in little areas like learning how to film or record videos. The technical side of things has been fun. I realize I need to smile more in my videos. Needs work. Some of the things I've learned, I've just stumbled upon by just dumb luck. Like putting all the videos on the parables into one playlist. I've had several people email me and let me know that they've gone back and they're watching that entire collection of videos on the parables. I'm also trying to respond to several questions that people of ministry have posted to me that they would like me to post my main sort of biblical content video earlier in the week so that they can use it for preparing lessons or preaching on Sunday. One of the things I wished I could have done this year, but because of coronavirus, it wasn't possible. But hopefully as we get out from underneath this virus, into sort of the middle of next year, is to visit historic sites and museums and show how that content then interacts with the biblical content. Just these past few weeks, the Society of Biblical Leisure Conference was supposed to be in Boston. This attracts around 15,000 people from around the world. And I love it when they hold the conference in Boston because they've got a lot of really great museums and historic churches there. The Boston Museum of Fine Arts in particular has a phenomenal collection of ancient Egyptian, Israeli, Assyrian, Babylonian, and Greek artifacts that really help us to understand the biblical content and material. In the past years, I've done videos from those conferences for my students in the classes 
this coming November, the conference is going to be in San Antonio, Texas, and I hope to take all of you along with me on that conference. San Antonio has a phenomenal rich history of Spanish missions down there. It also has a world-class art museum. The conference was supposed to be held these past two weeks in Boston, and unfortunately, due to the virus, it was held virtually. The cognitive linguistics section that I chair had a number of excellent papers presented, and we really hope to collect these papers into a book that will be published maybe within a year or two from now. This past year has really kind of shown me the potential for this YouTube channel and also given me ideas for the future. In fact, in that regard, I even went out and bought a new camera to help in videotaping these videos. However, my wife caught it when it came in the mail and confiscated it and says it's for Christmas. So you're gonna have to wait for the camera along with me now. The past four videos I've done on Advent have been really enriching and touched my life in a lot of ways. Especially this last one on Mary's story, it really hit me this time how challenging and traumatic Gabriel's annunciation to Mary must have been to her. And also how she thinks on her feet and comes up with a plan to protect her life, but also that of the promised Messiah, a remarkable woman. I hope these videos have really encouraged you to go deeper in your faith and commitment to the Lord, and that they've made Christmas a richer and deeper celebration this year. Until we meet again next year, peace.